BPC-157 is a regenerative peptide. It's often used to speed up recovery, to help old injuries repair. I've also used it often for patients that are undergoing surgery and they want to reduce their downtime and therefore will implement BPC-157 during the post-operative stage, oftentimes when they're going through physical therapy. It also has immune modulating capabilities. In other words, it can stimulate your immune system and augment your immune system's response. BPC-157 is a 15 amino acid sequence peptide, hence the name pentadecapeptide. It's actually considered to be a partial sequence of the endogenous version of it, which is referred to as body protection complex. However, BPC-157 is considered to be a fragment of body protection complex. Another way of referring to that is a frag for short. Body protection complex is actually secreted from the gastric juices and it's not found elsewhere in nature. It's actually being studied and evaluated for its efficacy in treating GERD, whether it was induced by NSAIDs or not. It's also being evaluated in the treatment of esophagitis, ulcerative colitis, uh, and even Crohn's. And there's some studies going on evaluating its efficacy in treating burns. BBC-157 can be administered either orally or via subcutaneous injection. Historically speaking, most people say if you want to administer it via subcutaneous injection, you need to place it at the site of injury. That's not necessary. As long as you inject it subcutaneously, it will get systemically absorbed and will exert its positive effects. Now, in regards to dosing, 500 to 750 micrograms daily tends to get the job done for most. Uh, depending on the severity of the injury or for what purpose it is will determine its duration. Now, for instance, if you're having, let's say, an orthopedic repair and you're going to be undergoing physical therapy for four to eight weeks, I would say you probably want to administer it shortly after surgery for the duration of the physical therapy. Now, if you want to do it for routine tune-ups, so to speak, no different than getting an oil change every three to 5,000 miles, I would say do it once every quarter, and you could use that for routine maintenance and immune modulating benefits. I appreciate y'all tuning in and keep tuned as we continue to drop more videos to educate y'all. Appreciate it.